Welcome to my very last video that I am filming in my tiny cottage. I am just finishing up packing for my cross country move to upstate New York in just a couple of days, making this a perfect time to go through my empties. Now it has been about four months since my last empties video, so we do have quite a bit to get through, mostly skincare, a little body care, some hair care, and a little bit of makeup. In the interest of time, I am going to go through pretty quickly mini review style, but everything will be listed and linked in the description box below. Keep in mind, many of the links are affiliate, which means that when you shop my links, I may earn a small commission at no cost to you. Absolutely no pressure. But if you do choose to shop my links, I thank you. It really does help support my channel and I very much appreciate it. Now give me just a moment to get this in some semblance of order and we will get into it. Starting with skincare, and I'm going to go through this somewhat logically, the order in which I usually complete my skincare routine. First up, of course, is cleansers. And I did finish up this La Roche Posay Tolerane Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I purchased this many months ago for a cream cleanser roundup video. And this is the last cleanser from that video that I am using up. I do enjoy this. I find it gentle, effective, affordable. I do recommend it, but I'm probably not going to repurchase it anytime soon because I am super happy to be back to my favorite cream cleanser, my Mad Hippie cream cleanser that you have heard me talk about a million times. However, I do have a new cleanser that I have repurchased and I have added it to my skincare routine and it is the Aveeno Calm and Restore Nourishing PHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Now this is not a scrub, but it does offer the gentlest of chemical exfoliation with a PHA, a polyhydroxy acid. I was a little bit nervous when I first used this, so I only started a couple of days a week in the morning, and I have now been using it pretty much every single morning. So I'm using the Aveeno Exfoliating Cream Cleanser in the morning and the Mad Hippie in the evening. This really does a nice job brightening my skin. It gives me a glow, but it is incredibly gentle, incredibly hydrating, and yes, I have already repurchased it. A product you've heard me talk about before, it's been in my routine for the past few years. I've repurchased it multiple times is my Dermatology C plus E plus ferulic acid. You know, I have been using an ascorbic acid vitamin C serum in my morning routine for pretty close to 20 years. Vitamin C is one of my must have actives for antioxidant protection against free radicals. It also is known to boost collagen and it really does help brighten my skin. Now vitamin C ascorbic acid can be a little irritating for some people Luckily, my skin tolerates it quite well, but I do alternate between the Dermatology 15% in the winter when my skin is a little drier and a little bit more sensitive and the Timeless 20% vitamin C serum in the summer. Currently, I'm using my Timeless vitamin C, but when that runs out, I will reorder the Dermatology for use this winter. Now, if you are someone that really can't tolerate ascorbic acid, there are some really good vitamin C derivatives that are much less irritating. I will list some good ones in the description box below. I have gone through several moisturizers. My 63 year old skin is really quite dry, so a good moisturizer is a very important part of my skincare routine. I do tend to switch up my moisturizers with the seasons as my skin change, and sometimes even day to day, depending on how my skin feels. I also love testing moisturizers. If I see a moisturizer I've been curious about on sale, I will pick it up and give it a try. I have loved every single product I've tried from the Aveeno Calm and Restore line. It is definitely one of my favorite drugstore lines. So when I saw the Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer for sensitive skin on sale at Costco, I immediately picked it up. This is a really nice lightweight gel cream moisturizer. It just sinks into the skin. It's not greasy. It is unscented. It is excellent for sensitive skin. It is quite lightweight. I don't think it is quite rich enough 
for my super dry winter skin, but I will definitely pick this up again next summer. I highly recommend it. My two most repurchased night creams are, of course, my Dermatology Peptide Night Cream and my Mad Hippie Triple C Night Cream. Now, the Dermatology is, of course, loaded with ceramides and tons of peptides, and the Mad Hippie has lots of vitamin C, oils, humectants. They are both gorgeous. The Dermatology is a little bit lighter weight, so what I like to do is sometimes I will use the peptide night cream as a day cream in the winter and a night cream in the summer. And then the Mad Hippie Triple C Cream is much richer and more occlusive, so I will use this as a night cream in the winter, sometimes even a day cream in the winter. I really can't choose. I love them both, so I managed to incorporate them both into my skincare routine and I absolutely will be repurchasing both of them. I have several empty sunscreens to share with you today. You know, I really enjoy testing sunscreens on this channel. I have a whole playlist. I will link it in the description box below. And I do wear a dedicated SPF every single day, year round. So I go through quite a few sunscreens, especially in the summer. Now, all of the sunscreens I'm about to share with you today, I believe I have talked about multiple times. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. We will whip through this mini review style. First up is Color Science. This is the classic 100% mineral SPF 50. I have repurchased this multiple times. You know, Color Science offers a range of tints and tones, but I really do like this peachy tint. It is just enough of a tint to take the white cast away. It is a really nice lightweight formula that absorbs really nicely into my skin. I find it beautifully moisturizing and it does work really, really nicely under makeup. Now this is a bit on the pricey side, so I always try to buy it on sale. Just as I was running out of this, they launched a brand new untinted 100% mineral SPF 50. I did review this a couple of months ago. I really do enjoy this. I'm actually leaning a little bit more into untinted SPFs because they don't get on my clothes, they don't get in my hairline. This has the look and the feel very, very similar to the classic. Without the tint, no white cast. This is a good one. Another untinted SPF that I have repurchased multiple times, and this is on the more affordable side, and it is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45. I can't read it. This is a hybrid SPF. Again, it is untinted, and hybrid means it has both chemical and physical filters. I really love this. No white cast absorbs beautifully, works great under makeup. I can't tell you how many of these I've gone through. I always use my own discount code to purchase this, bringing it down to pretty close to drugstore pricing. Another untinted SPF that is empty that I have repurchased many, many times, and this one is quite affordable. This is the Can Make Mermaid Sun Gel. This is my favorite Asian SPF. This is a Japanese formula. It is hybrid. It does use the advanced European filters. I love this. You can buy it on Amazon. It is super travel friendly and very, very affordable. Two more, and both of these really took me by surprise. Now, I recently reviewed this one. This is the Naked Sunday. I have to get my notes here. The name is so long. Naked Sunday Collagen Glow 100% Mineral Lightly Tinted SPF 50. The claims, it is a four-in-one formula that acts as a primer, a moisturizer, an SPF, and a collagen supporter all in one tube. This is cruelty-free, fragrance-free, vegan, reef-safe, with wonderful skin-loving ingredients. Now, when I first tried this, I was really, oh my gosh, I hope I can get enough out to show you the consistency. I was really put off by the very thick texture and it really did feel quite heavy as I blended it into my skin. It does have just enough of a tint, again, no white cast. I was shocked how beautifully this blended into my skin no white cast, 
once it dries down, it is absolutely gorgeous. Yet, this somehow blurs and smooths my skin. It works beautifully under makeup and it is water resistant to 80 minutes. So this became my go-to SPF for outdoor summer activities. Now it's not 100% empty, but it will be very, very soon. I will absolutely repurchase this next summer. An SPF I completely changed my mind about is the Jose Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. This is a 100% mineral untinted SPF that is loaded with skin loving oils. Now I first reviewed this about a year and a half ago in a spring SPF roundup and ranking. I ranked it very, very low. I gave it a very poor review. I said it was oily and greasy and heavy and left a white cast. But I did say I would pull it out again in the winter and see how my winter skin loved it. So last December I did pull it out and my skin loved it. Like I said, in the winter my skin is extra, extra dry. So I used this entire thing, I don't even know if I can show you. You know, you can see it's pretty thin and yes, when you apply it, it does feel pretty oily on the skin and it does have a pretty significant white cast. But when you really work it into the skin and give it a good 20 minutes to dry down, my skin just drank this up. The white cast completely disappeared. It worked really nicely under makeup. I used this entire thing up last winter. I am planning to repurchase it again in the winter if you have extra dry winter skin, you might very much love this. Now, Josie Marin does make a tinted version. It doesn't have the best reviews. And like I said earlier, I am leaning much more into untinted SPS because I just don't like the way tint gets on my sweaters, my jackets, my hairline. This is a perfect winter SPF if you have super, super dry skin. One of my must-have actives that I have included in my skincare routine for well over 20 years is Tretinoin, also known as Retin-A. Tretinoin is the gold standard when it comes to anti-aging. It is very well documented to stimulate collagen, reduce texture, treat wrinkles, and fight pigmentation. Now, tretinoin is only available by prescription here in the United States. So several years ago, I was receiving my tretinoin from Curology, and then about a year and a half ago, I switched from Curology to their sister company agency, which is geared towards treating additional signs of aging. I have very much enjoyed working with agency, both as a patient client and as a partner. So a huge thank you to Agency for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I have talked about Agency several times in the past, so I will be brief. But if you are new to Agency, it is an online dermatology service that customizes prescription treatment creams based on your individual needs and concerns. It's super easy. You simply answer an online questionnaire, submit photographs of your clean face, and an online dermatology professional will assess your skin and prescribe treatment creams based on, like I said, your individual needs and concerns. Your dermatology professional is also available to answer any questions you may have and will reassess your skin every couple of months and adjust your formula as needed. Anyway, like I said, agency is how I've been receiving my prescription tretinoin for about the past year and a half in my agency future formula. I use my future formula about five or six evenings a week. It is part of your evening skincare. Comes in an airtight pump and it has a really lovely, elegant consistency. One pump will treat your entire face. Now my future formula contains 0.1% tretinoin, azelaic acid, 5%, tranexamic acid, 5% and niacinamide 4%. Your future formula may be different based on your individual medical consultation. I have also used up my agency dark spot formula, which I use twice a day. This is how I'm receiving my prescription hydroquinone. Again, the gold standard to treat hyperpigmentation. The thing about hydroquinone is you must cycle on and off again every couple of months, which agency makes 
super easy. I am currently on my non-hydroquinone rotation and my current formula is azelaic acid 10%, kojic acid 5%, green tea extract 2%, and resveratrol 1%. These two creams, my future formula and my dark spot formula with their eight powerhouse actives really do help treat all the signs of aging. Truly medical grade skincare delivered straight to my door. If you would like to try agency, I will put a link on the screen here as well as in the description box below. And once again, a huge thank you to agency for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Two skincare products I did not use up, but I am decluttering are my COSRX products. I have the COSRX Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence and also the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. You know, I've heard so many great things about these. I know snail mucin is supposed to be so great for our skin. I picked it up at an Ulta sale quite a while ago. I just cannot with the consistency. Here is the consistency of the essence. Look at that. It is just so slimy. I know it's supposed to be great for your skin. I just can't do it. And the cream, the cream is just as bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I hope to find a home for this. One of my friends let them give it a try. Unpopular opinion. I know these are really good for the skin. Many people love it, but I just can't with the snail muse. Moving on to body care. One of the most transformative body lotions that I have tried in a very long time is the Dermatology Exfoliating Body Lotion. This has completely transformed my skin. My skin is smooth and soft and it helps with the crepiness. You know, the directions say to use it twice a day and I did use it pretty close to twice a day when I first got it. It does have 12% lactic acid, which might be irritating to some people, but it also has glycerin and triglycerides and ceramides, so it is also hydrating. Once I got my body skin where I wanted it, I only use this about once a day, maybe once every other day, and it is maintaining my skin beautifully. I am hooked. I just reordered my third one. A body care line I have gotten completely hooked on is Lumi. You know, the one with all the funny commercials? I really didn't take Lumi seriously until I heard Penn Smith rave about it. So I picked up a little mini of their deodorant stick, used it up, I very much enjoyed it, and then I tried their lotion. I really do prefer the lotion versus the solid deodorant stick. It's really moisturizing and it really does an amazing job preventing odor. It just feels like a really nice lotion. So I got totally into the line. I picked up the Lumi body wash. I typically don't love body washes. I'm more of a bar soap girl. Luckily, I found out that Lumi also makes bar soap. Now previously, Lumi was only available online, but my Target has an entire display of Lumi. I am completely crazy about Lumi. I highly recommend Lumi. As far as hair care, I have completely used up and already repurchased using my own discount code, my High L Volumizing Shampoo and my High L Volumizing Conditioner. So many volumizing products can really dry your hair out. These really do add volume and yet leave my hair feeling silky smooth. These are higher end products, but a little goes a very long way. These will last me six to nine months and I shampoo my hair two, maybe three times a week. I do have a discount code in the description box below. I really love these. Finishing up with some makeup. And this first one makes me sad. And it is the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Lipstick. I love the sheer balmy moisturizing formula. It came in so many gorgeous shades. My favorite shade was Varnished Rosewood. This is my lips but better. It lived in my purse. I repurchased this more times than I can possibly count. Unfortunately, they discontinued this line about a year ago. Here is the end of my last varnished rosewood. 
You know, I know you could probably find it on Amazon, but once a product is discontinued, I really don't like to buy it because I feel like I'm getting an old product. They did come out with a new line that is fairly similar and I'm going to show you them side by side. There is varnished rosewood. Oh my gosh, it's hard to get it out. Varnished rosewood. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I repurchased this more times than I can possibly count. But L'Oreal did come out with a new line called Glow Paradise, which does seem very similar. Similar packaging, similar formula. It's sheer, it's moisturizing. And I picked it up in a color that I thought would be quite similar. Let me see what color this is. I can't read it even with my glass. Oh, 200 Mulberry Bliss. It's close but it is not identical. It is a little bit more sheer, but it's still really pretty. But I am still sad about L'Oreal Varnished Rosewood. R.I.P. Varnished Rosewood. I used up an entire Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator and I already repurchased it during a Tarte sale. You know, this is such an easy, everyday, very natural tinted hydrator. I apply it with my fingers, light to medium coverage. I've talked about it a lot. I'm wearing it today. It is travel friendly and I have already repurchased it. I have it in the color 20 and light neutral, I believe. Another product I just talked about in my top three in every category eye makeup and it is my L'Oreal eyelash primer. I have been purchasing this for a very long time. It really does add volume. It really does add length. There is no high end luxury or drugstore that I have found that can beat this. L'Oreal Eyelash Primer is a good one. And lastly, a product that I, it's a combination of almost empty and being too old, so I need to declutter it. And it is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Airbrush Perfecting Powder SPF 50. You know, a few years ago, this was my go-to powder over sunscreen. It is tinted, it does give a little bit of coverage. You can see I used up quite a bit. I haven't used it in a while. I have so many other powders I actually prefer over this. And this is actually quite old, so it is a combination of almost empty and decluttering because it is just too old. That was a lot to get through. I am super excited to get rid of these empties, finish packing, and hit the road for upstate New York in just a couple of days. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to throw it a thumbs up. And with that, have yourself a great day, a wonderful week, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.